Hello everyone. This is a small video session and this we will talk about SAN, Storage Area Network. It is a network which provides access to consolidated block level data storage. It is used to enhance storage devices such as disk carries, libraries, optical jukeboxes etc. So that these can be accessed to multiple locations, to multiple host servers. So and these Devices appear to the operating system of those host servers as the locally attached devices. So how it came? With the evolution of computers, more and more disk space was required. It was required that the same disk state disks can be accessed across multiple hosts. It was required that the host can expand their storage in real time. So with that, a storage area network came. So what is storage area network? And what are the components of this? Let's talk about that. So, there are multiple components that make a storage area network. So, we have a storage array. So, this array, it is a hardware element that contains a large group of hard disk drives. We call HDDs. These drives are placed in such a way that they are improved and they are smarter and they are increased data protection with the storage controller features software that provides storage array the raid functionality as well as multiple other enhancement features these raid and other storage controller features we will talk about these in details in further videos so let's talk about the basic components of the sand so first one is the storage array that we talked about just now then we have fc switch this is called a fiber channel switch so this is all a high and optical fiber this everything is connected through high end optical fiber network and it is called fiber channel switch and these are the cables these are fc cables and these are having a ports these are connected to sfps and at the front end we call it this is the back end be and this is a front end so at the front end we have hosts these hosts are connected to the storage devices storage boxes using fc switch and at the FC switch, we have a zoning. This is the here we make a zone for WWPNs. Like we have MAC address, is this in same way in SAN environment we have WWPNs. These worldwide port names are zoned for the storage array WWPNs and the host WWPNs. So 10 GB of data can be used as a block devices from any of this, these storage arrays to any of these hosts or to multiple mappings possible using the learn mapping that we did through zoning and then we have at the host side we have FC cards like in computers we have graphic cards and in networking we have CNA cards similarly in hosts we have FC cards these FC cards manipulate this data in the stand environment and with this the storage block can be accessed to a and to and by a multiple host in this SAN environment. So these storage arrays, FC switches, host, learn, zoning, RAID, WWPNs, FC card, etc, etc. All these make a SAN environment. Hope the video is clear to you and 